Hey foodies, welcome to Minuke. It's evening and I am getting the feel that we all at this point of time want something warm and especially a yummy cup of tea. Now tea is something that is the most popular drink not just in the world and it was discovered in the year 2700 BC. <clears throat> Can you imagine how long ago people have been drinking and enjoying a cup of tea? There are more than thousand varieties of tea all over the world. Maybe even more. I may be wrong in my uh, discovery, but at least a thousand is what that we know are existing. And the most common and the most popular teas are the milk tea, the black tea and the green tea. Now, besides the regular cup of tea that we have, there are multiple number of trees. Did I say trees? I'm so sorry. I meant teas. Now, out of that, if you have gone through my channel, you must have seen, I have already made two different kind of tea. One is the Irani tea and one is the pink tea, which is the most popular tea of Kashmir. Now, today I am going to be sharing a unique tea with you which I just came across when I had visited a friend and she gave me such a tea to drink which I could never forget. Now when I asked her the secret, she was very smart in not telling me that, but I was smarter than her. I recalled the taste of the tea and I realized that she served me pan tea. Yeah, can you imagine tea made with pan? Pan is something we always think of having after a dinner or especially at a wedding, you know, something we always look forward to have a pan. Now here I am making tea with pan leaf. Sounds strange, but honestly, trust me, it is going to be just mind blowing. It's going to be so delicious that you would just immediately run into your kitchen, take up a cup of tea and prepare it this way. Now for that, I have pan leaves. These are the fresh pan leaves that you can get it in any, you know, what they call a pan shop in your neighborhood. So just pick it up. Now what we're going to do, along with the pan leaf, our regular tea leaf, please take a good brand tea leaf. I, You can see I have some things mixed in it. So I have a few, uh, you know, authentic or you can say traditional things added on to that. Sugar according to taste. One spoon or so off. Now we'll also be adding some flavor to our tea besides the pan. So here we have so off. And to just get a little mosaic, we got to add some cardamom. You can add some ginger too, especially knowing with a person whose throat is so bad as mine. I think a dash of ginger will also add some variation. So what we're going to do now, here we come to our milk and water. So I'll be making the tea for approximately four people. So I have two cups of water and one and a half cup of milk I'll be using. Quantity of milk gets a little higher because when you are brewing your tea or you're boiling your tea, it just reduces a bit. So to balance the, you know, the level of your tea and water, the, the milk level is a little higher. So now I'm now rushing to my kitchen with my ingredients and I'm starting making my pan tea. Onto the gas I have kept my utensil. To that I'll be adding my water. Be a little careful about how you add because honestly what you need to do at this time is keep the flame of your gas really low. And now I have made it high. And now what we're going to do, the leaf that we took, the pan leaf, I'm going to cut this into pieces and dip it into my water. The pan leaf has been cut and has been added to the water. And at this time, I will also be adding the, the soft and my green cardamoms. We're going to let this cook, let the water cook for at least 10 minutes till the color changes and then we add the sugar and the tea leaves sugar can be added in the beginning of while you're making your tea or when you are serving your tea depending on 
if your guest or your family avoids sugar you can even do that later or you can add it into the water so that it cooks along with the other ingredients so for these you can see that the color of the water is gradually changing but i need to make it a little more darker so i'm going to cook this again like i said earlier also that when the water will boil it will get evaporated some of it will get evaporated that is why i need to keep the quantity of water and milk a little on the higher side now at this point of the, but before i'm so sorry i am interrupting my own self here because the smell of pan is so intoxicating you know the whole kitchen is smelling of pan so i was just kind of excited to share that with you and now goes in our tea leaf we're going to cook this again wow lovely color i'll keep my flame medium and i'm going to cook this for another 5 to 7 minutes i'm adding the sugar at this stage like i said you can even add it later and stir it well so that the sugar gets diluted with our tea leaf and the pan i have added 1 and 1/2 spoon you can add more according to your taste and now i'll be adding my milk mm you see i've added quite a lot of milk here so i'm going to cook this in slow flame keep stirring and clearing the bubbles which will come ignore the first boil of your tea don't get worried and don't close the tea immediately because it's not completely cooked at that stage so we just need to stir and stir and stir and let it cook So for these let me have a look and see if the tea seems ready and I think it does so I'm going to let it boil for another 1 second or so not more than that because then it gets a little on the raw uh, you know kadwa uh, side as they say no wo kadwi ho jati hai chai bahut zyada ubal kar bhi so we will just let this cook now for just a minute and we will close the gas and put it into our serving bowl so for these are very delicious and hot and piping pan tea is ready <clears throat> i will put it into my cups and i'm going to be serving my tea with cookies <clears throat> any any kind of cookies biscuits anything you can serve your tea with so you can see the tea is looking really nice looking like any normal tea but only when you will actually drink it then you will come to know the flavor so let me do those honors for you mm exactly like what i had had at my friend's house now this is something that i would want you all to try there are like i said so many variations you can have 
cherry tea, you can have uh, milk tea, honey tea, gur ki chai. I mean, you can just get into it and make whatever you like. As long as it is worth eating and drinking. Otherwise, please don't try to do something that you will really like to not do. So until we meet again with another unique and delicious recipe, you take care of yourself. Bye-bye.